Oh my god. <gasps> That's so cute. What? I've never seen a villager do that. That's amazing. I love it. Come in and Kuri Dune as we work on another collab build. So in today's collab build, we are doing the worst Titan collab, which was set up and organized by the lovely Danny from Canada Crossing and Rocco from Bits and Bitsies. So please make sure to go give them so much love and support for coming up with the idea and organizing it. All my other collaborators will be down in the description, down below, as well as on screen right now for you. So for my part in the collab, we have a certain item that we have to use in a design build and the lovely Danny got the item I suggested. So definitely go over and give him even more love. As I already was saying, for having to decorate with the item I suggested. Danny, I am sorry. I know you had such a hard time with it. I'm sorry, but not sorry also. Um, but anyway, so we're on Happy Home again. As always, I kind of do these collab builds over here just because it's a little bit more simple for me. It's just so much easier doing it over in Happy Home. So we have our little friends here hanging out and our item for today is this bad boy. So we have to use the throwback cat for this build. And I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to decide what I was gonna do for this. I did have to do a bit of pre-planning because I was like, how on earth am I gonna use this? Like, excuse me, what? If it was a throwback hat chair, no. If it's a throwback chair, what is it called? Throwback mitt chair, even. I would even find I like that item because it has a brown version and it's really cute and vintagey. This, no, this, not my vibe. But we move, we shall go with it. But anyway, let's get jumping into this build. Um, as always on these kind of happy home ones, I just pick random villagers that are on the beach or in the cafes and try and find one that I think will fit for this theme. Oh my God, would you stop it? Ugh. Okay, now they're out the way. Uh, so I think for this build in particular, I'm gonna try and test out a kind of theme idea I have for my next island because Freeth is done now. So we need to uh, get working on the next one, you know? Um, so I do have some ideas of what this was gonna be. And to a point, <laughs> in a way, because I I do think the um, the throwback cat chair is kind of trash. We're gonna make a bit of a trash heap with the trash hat. Another trash, cause trash. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I I I don't really know. We're just gonna. We're gonna do our best. That's all you can ask for. So I've changed the house. Uh, I might change the weather as well to autumn. Gotta love some autumn, right? Yeah, that's better. It's giving me more dirt vibes and grass, which I think is good. Uh, so this hat, I think I'm gonna have it backwards. Uh, I think I prefer the baseball version because I don't know, the other ones just look so fake and plasticky. And although this still does look plasticky, I feel like the design on it just looks better. So we're gonna stick with that. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can kind of do. So initially, I, th I think the main thing we need to start with, right, is some trees because trees help everything. Trees are the start and end of this earth. They are the goodness and everything. They give us oxygen, they give us life, like let's let's heat it for the trees. Let's let's do it for the trees, right? Yeah. We we gotta do it for the trees. What am I even talking about right now? Let's fill this area up with trees. I'm probably gonna end up this out. So you won't hear me singing about some trees. But a but But we love the trees, trees, trees. We love the trees, trees, trees. The trees are so great. They make my day. Trees, trees, trees. Oh, trees, trees, trees. Trees are the best. 
I'll put it to the test. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Oh. It is so warm. I am currently filming this when it is like the second heat wave that the UK has had this year. And I'm not enjoying it. I do not like the heat. The heat do not go well with me, my Scottish skin. Um, yeah, I think I want to use some of these fences. I want to line the back wall. So I'm kind of thinking, um, what's this guy's called again? What's his name? Keaton. That's it. Um, isn't there a famous Keaton? Keaton? No. Who's the famous Keaton? I need to Google this. Famous Keaton. Mm, Diane Keaton, that's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so kind of like a trash yard. He sells some stuff, maybe like up, does up some like sporty things. Um, so yeah, let's get some sporty stuff out. He's sporty spice. He's like, yeah, I do all the sports. The sports are my life. Um, and what about it? What about it? Okay, so we've got these sporty bits. I think I'm just gonna leave these sporty items on this table. Maybe I'll put the crisps. A little snacking area. Uh, would it be, would he, what kind of crisps would he have? Ooh, let's go for sour cream. Mm hmm. Good old sour cream. Uh, we probably should keep the green packet for our sour cream. That makes more sense. Um, right, let's put it here. I'm gonna put the throwback chair there. I think maybe I'll put the golf here at the door. Like that's where he's just dumped it when he's came in. What a cute little pattern. What are we all doing? It's it's gonna be midweek when this goes up. I'm recording this on Sunday. Um, so how's everybody's um, weeks going so far? Um, shall we do a little seating area? I also want to use some trash and stuff in this area. I just feel like he's a collector. He's gonna have like loads of random things about. He's just a collector. He likes his sports. He likes his trash. Um, he doesn't have much taste, so no judgment there. Um, but you know, we just, we go with it. He hoards all the things. Okay, some trash in the background. Some trash in the foreground. Okay, um, but yeah, so my feelings for this kind of theme idea I'm coming up with is kind of trashy, kind of abandoned, kind of a mess, I guess. Okay, we also need to change this. This is gonna be a sports mag. Sports! Go teams! Woo, sports. Okay, there's definitely more sports stuff we can use. Uh, let's have a look through. Yeah, let's go up to the top and we'll go by type. Okay, two seconds. There's thunder. Okay, hello, we're back. Watch the thunder and lightning it was great. I love thunder and lightning. We do not get it very often. We don't really get it in the UK all that often, so you know, I had to go and watch it when I can. But let's go and jump back into this build and get it completed. Okay, what what were we actually doing before I went and watched the thunder for a bit? I can't remember. I'm just gonna loop through and see. Oh, spark just right away. We need more sports stuff, that's it. Okay, let's have a look. What are we gonna get? Okay, we've got everything that we need. Um, it, it really is looking like a trash pile now, so I guess we're done. Lol, JK. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start moving things around. I think I wanna do like a little basketball field in one side. Don't really know what else, to be honest. <laughs> oh, the other areas, I'm just gonna like have that like back left bit be loads of like memorabilia almost, like with like the throwback wrestling character and like sports magazines and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I like I got, I got the TV as well, so I I kind of want to fit that in. 
I feel like I feel like that kind of fits the vibe. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'll come up with a story along the way, and that's the most important thing, right? <laughs> also, who's been watching Sabotage League? I've been watching it while I've been decorating this in the background, and oh my god, it's so close! I I can't believe. So. Timmy versus Tommy just won, but I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of on Iona's team, like, she's a Brit, so I have to be on team Brit, you know? But, honestly, amazing. So close, so good, incredible. But I really love all these, like, community-led events, like Sabotage League, Last Crosser Standing, Lost Races, even all the scavenger hunting, doing, like, the verses, the kind of content creators going up against each other, I love it so much. It adds so much to the community, and, like, just, and like the online aspect of Animal Crossing definitely missing like the mini games and stuff. These are like a little perfect input that the creators and the community can do themselves without too much work to be honest. Unless you're doing the mazes. Well, the mazes is a bit different but that's okay. Generally like the dream address hunting, the villager hunting, as long as you have the tickets, as long as you have a bed, it's fine. But honestly so good, I love it. It just like really fills me with so much warmth seeing the community come together and like kind of supporting one another. But let me know what you think in the comments. Are you watching all of them? Are you watching a couple of them? It is kind of a little bit difficult to keep up with because there's so much going on all the time. But I love it. It's competitive. It's fun. It's just, it's brilliant. And I love it. I'm a big fan of it. I need like an Animal Crossing New Horizons Olympics. Don't know how that would work but i need it give me it <laughs> okay so i guess like this front left area i'm kind of making into a diy fixing up in base i guess you would get some like sports memorabilia that we like come in looking okay and we need fixed up maybe it's like that's a little workshop area and then i was thinking there's so many chairs i want to use like so many seats i want to use i'm gonna give them like a little sports watching party area like him and the gang him and the bros Woo. sports sports with the bros um but yeah i think like a little watching area god that sounds so silly but yeah like a little sports hangout with whatever chairs he has he's got some cardboard chairs he's got some garden chairs you know it just it's a it's a fun time it's a fun time I am very excited for my next island theme. Let me know down in the comments what you think the next island theme is going to be. I'm really intrigued to see what you think it's going to be based on this build. But I'm also going to be trying to like challenge myself. So... Oh my god, the pink scooter is so cute. I can't. I cannot. Speaking of video games though, um, I obviously need to mention probably the one of the most popular games out there at the moment within the cosy gaming community which is Dinkum. Your girl is jealous. <laughs> I need to get a PC so I can play Dinkum because it looks so freaking good. All the videos that I see from like Kato, Bewick, AJ, Flirt, even Pumpkin playing it everyone i just i want it i need it it's not a want it's a need i do not know you can customize this item what this is amazing oh my god the wheels the wheels are so cute <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add some pathing and quotes because it feels really bare and I just need to fill it in to give it a bit more character, I guess. What's a build without custom creator quotes? Like, seriously. Okay, I also need to make sure to add some flowers and stuff afterwards, too. Oh my god, the road tracks under the basketball hoop. Perfect. Perfect.
Okay, flower time. It's flower time. It's flower time. It's the flower time. I think I'm just gonna kind of use like a mix of neutral stuff and maybe some bushes and stuff too. Um, I really, yeah, I really don't know what else. I love how this is turning out. We've got a few separate areas. So we've we've got like a sports kind of collector area. Then we have our basketball area. And then we have this like DIY building area. And then we have this area to hang out and like watch sports. Cause go sports, go team. We we have everything that Keaton needs, right? Right. And we have our hat. That's the main thing. We have our throwback hat. Okay, I'm gonna put us into aesthetic mode now. So enjoy the clips and I'll catch you at the end. So I'm really glad to have done this and essentially done like a test run for this kind of theme and try out some different items that I've never really used but I'm super excited for the next island and I can't wait to get started on it. But if you enjoyed watching me build this and just chatting random things make sure to let me know in the comments down below and like the video it helped me out so much. Also if you enjoyed this collab make sure to go and check out all the rest of the collaborators especially go and check out Rocco and Danny for helping organize and put this collab together. I appreciate it and thank you so much for letting me take part. I will see you in the next video or stream. Stay safe, stay cozy, Slanja. Bye!